Hi there, today's topic is going to be sampling. So we just need some key points and definitions before we move on and uh, this should give you a clear idea of exactly what sampling is and why it's used. So let's start with this one. A census is when information is gathered from all possible sources. Now if you ask your parents about the census, um, certainly in the UK, the census is done every five years and that's where a document gets sent around to every household and you have to fill in lots of information about your family and the people living in your home. So it, it gives the government a good idea of um, where the country is at and you know what they need to do with regard to healthcare and education and if they need more schools and lots of stuff like that. So the census is really important, but it gathers information, gathers data from all possible sources. Uh, the total number of people that you could be interested in is what we call the population. Now, suppose you're interested in investigating something in your school. You, uh, you might want to um, investigate the students in your school. So the total number of students in your school would be the population. However, asking everyone in your school is going to take an awful long time and it's going to be costly. So we don't want to ask everyone. We can ask what's called a sample. So rather than asking everyone in your school, I want to ask a group of people that should give me a representative um, selection of the population. So representative means that um, all parties are equally um, equally asked. So for example, I wouldn't want to ask just the year sevens or just the year eights. I will select a portion of year sevens, year eights, year nines, year tens, etc. so that everyone has a fair say and is everyone is represented. Um, if it's not representative, it's what we call a biased sample. So if I did just ask year sevens um, when doing a questionnaire and I was interested in the, in the whole school, it would be a biased sample because the year sevens wouldn't be a fair reflection of the whole school. Okay, so that's the definitions out of the way. Uh, let's see if you can answer a couple of questions on it. So, here you go, four questions for you to answer. Uh, see how you get on with those. Okay, hopefully you've had a crack at those questions. Um, I'll just bring up the solutions and briefly discuss the answers I put. Uh, here we're talking about Tesco is interested in investigating the spending habits of customers, so they conduct a, a telephone survey between 9 and 5, and we want to know why is this not representative. Well, what I've said is a lot of people work between 9 and 5, so it wouldn't give a fair chance of everyone being s selected so it's it's not representative of the population really uh, Ealing council surveying people about the need for more parking spaces so they ask 100 people in the town at the car park why is it not representative well simply people at the car park are more likely to want more car parking spaces so it's a biased sample uh, in this one uh, People are asked at the local gym about the importance of exercise. Well, people at the gym are likely to feel that exercise is very important. So again, it's a biased sample. And the last one here, Mr. A wants to find out how useful students find mygcsemats.com. So he asks the students, why is it unrepresentative? Well, it's likely that Mr. A's students are going to agree with him because he regularly directs students towards the site for help but students of other teachers may not be uh, directed to that site so often so it's important that they're asked as well if he wants to know how useful all students find the website so that's that's just an overview of what sampling is now for higher level we need to be able to do something called stratified sampling so let's take a look at this question here um, so suppose Mr. A wants to find out how useful students find mygccmats.com and we have this table here of information so it tells me the year group and the number of students in each year group um, and suppose I was interested in rather than asking the whole school I would ask a sample of a hundred students so I'm going to ask a sample of 100 students I need to know how many students from each year group should I ask so that it's representative. Well, the first thing I need to do is work out how many students are there in the whole school. So I'm going to add up all of these and that will tell me how many students are in the whole school. When I add these all up, I get 1,200. 
So there's 1,200 students in the school, and I want to take a sample of 100. The first thing we've got to do is work out what's called the sampling fraction. And the sampling fraction is simply the sample size divided by the total population. So the sampling fraction in this case is going to be 1 12th. So it was the sample size. sample size I'm, I'm interested in over the population okay so now I know what the sampling fraction is what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out 1 12th of each year group and that will tell me how many students to ask in each year group so I'm going to work out 1 12th of 252 which is 21 so I'm going to ask 21 year sevens 268 divided by 12 is 22.333 so it gives us a decimal answer I need to round it appropriately so it's closer to 22 because I can't ask a, a third of a person 273 divided by 12 gives us 22 and 3 quarters I'm going to round that to 23 and 213 divided by 12 gives me 17 and 3 quarters around to 18 and 194 divided by 12 gives us 16 and 1 sixth which are round to 16 now let me just check and see if this all adds up 21 plus 22 plus 23 plus 18 plus 16 gives me a grand total of 100 so I'm 100% certain I got it correct. Some questions for you guys to try. Um, remember to work out the sampling fraction for each one and then work out how many people from each age range or, or year or subject should be asked for your stratified sampling questions. Okay, hopefully you've had a crack at those. Um, I'll just bring up the solutions. There you have it. You can mark off your work check and see if you're right um, and that's it for stratified sampling so hopefully you found the video useful and um, best of luck with your with the revision I'll talk to you again sometime